Well, new at four, it is full steam ahead for the MTA's doomsday budget. Today, the agency said it will be forced to make some big cuts to service if it doesn't get federal aid. So what are we talking about? Well, a 40% service reduction for the subway and buses, 50% for commuter rails, plus thousands of layoffs. We have a lot to talk about. Let's get to News 4's Gilma Avalos live in Soho. So the big question, Gilma, what happens next here? Well, Natalie, without that crucial aid, the MTA says you really could expect to see those cuts as early as next May, and you could expect to be paying more for fewer services because one of the many options on the table to help reduce those massive deficits increases to toll and fare hikes in our future. The MTA announcing a doomsday scenario riders say could cripple public transportation, the lifeblood of the city. It's already expensive not as reliable as I would like. Without emergency federal aid, MTA Chairman Pat Foy said his hands are tied. The pandemic has left the already cash-strapped agency in crisis. Low ridership not coming back as they've hoped. We are taking the approach of planning for the worst, but leaving room to adjust for the best, should that happen. As we have said, without $12 billion in emergency federal aid, we would be forced to take draconian actions. Actions that include subway and bus service reductions of up to 40%. Additional service cuts could affect a quarter of all bus routes, primarily those with low ridership. Railroad service could be reduced by up to 50% for both weekday and weekend schedules, and you could be waiting between 20 to 30 minutes between trains during peak service. When I need it, it's not on time, like this morning. Nearly 9,400 workers could also lose their jobs. One of those employees whose livelihood could be on the line tells us he and his colleagues are stressed. It's going to be tough. Well, the new guys are uh, shaking a little bit. You know, they got families. Everybody got bills. The bus employee who did not want to show his face says it's not just the MTA's workforce who will suffer. They'll cut runs and they will be waiting longer for trains, buses. And Transit Workers Union President John Samuelson says the proposed layoffs are adding insult to injury after the sacrifice. Sacrifices workers have already made during the pandemic. We paid the price in blood. Over 100 TW members um, have passed away in a line of duty from COVID 19, and there's absolutely no way that we're just going to lay down and let them lay off New York City transit workers or any other MTA workers for that, fact, for that matter. We're going to fight back. No action was taken today. The board will vote on the budget next month. And the agency really hoping that under a new administration, under President-elect Joe Biden, those funds will be delivered. Live in Soho, Gil Mavalos, News 4 New York.